गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास फाइव माई सेल्फ रंजीत कुमार आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन द ई लर्निंग प्रोग्राम ऑफ मॉडर्न इंग्लिश स्कूल कुंती नगर नवादा टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द रिविजन ऑफ द सेकेंड चैप्टर दैट इज कॉल्ड एनिमल वर्ल्ड इन दिस द फर्स्ट टर्म दैट कम इन टू द बुक इज कॉल्ड इन्वायरमेंट वाट इज इन्वायरमेंट द सराउंडिंग इन विच द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम ग्रो is called its environment means the surrounding in which the living organism grows is called its surrounding next topic is habitat means the natural surrounding in which organism naturally grows means naturally live means the surrounding the or the area in which organism lives naturally is called its habitat on the basis of habitat different organism have different body covering this different body covering help the organism to survive in their habitat for example fish have a tough flexible overlapping scale on their body that help them to survive in aquatic condition next the reptiles like lizards crocodiles snake they have scales on their body that help them to move because they do not have legs limbs so they crawl they crawl on the ground so the scale should be tough so that they can crawl on the ground next body covering is means tortoise snail and uh, turtles they have cell hard cell which protect their body okay so different organism has different body covering next is birds birds have feathers what happens to the means what is the use of the feathers these feathers help bird or protect bird from cold from rain it also help birds to fly so different body covering is found in different animals okay this was there in your book and next is the breathing means breathing habit different animals different animals have different breathing habits for example uh, first what is breathing the process of taking in air and giving out means the process of taking in air rich in oxygen or you can say the process of taking in oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide from the body is called breathing the process of taking in oxygen and giving out of carbon dioxide is called breathing the oxygen that we take in it combine with the food and it release energy this process is called respiration what is breathing taking in oxygen giving out co2 is called breathing and process in which oxygen combined with the food to release energy is called respiration so different organism respire differently means different organism ब्रीद डिफरेंटली अलग अलग ऑर्गेनिज्म अलग अलग तरीके से ब्रीद करते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल यूनिसेलुलर ऑर्गेनिज्म और वेरी स्मॉल ऑर्गेनिज्म लाइक अमीबा पैरामीशियम दे ब्रीद थ्रू देयर बॉडी सरफेस ओके सो डिफरेंट ऑर्गेनिज्म ब्रीद डिफरेंटली इफ आई एम सेइंग इंसेक्ट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल एंड फॉर एग्जाम्पल बीज these organism breathe through a special tube like structure or hole in their body surface that is called spiracles so a small insect breathe through 
द स्पाइरेकल्स नेक्स्ट इज एक्वेटिक ऑर्गेनिज्म एक्वेटिक ऑर्गेनिज्म ऑर्गेनिज्म दैट लिव्स इन वाटर इज कॉल्ड एक्वेटिक ऑर्गेनिज्म फॉर एग्जांपल फिश क्रैब्स प्रॉन्स दीज आर द एक्वेटिक ऑर्गेनिज्म दैट लिव्स इन वाटर दे टेक ऑक्सीजन दैट वाज दैट इज डिसॉल्व इन द वाटर मींस since they are inside the water they will take oxygen or they will breathe with the help of a special organ called gills so aquatic organism like fish like prawns like crabs they breathe with the help of gills next is amphibians what is amphibians the organism that can live on land as well as in water is called amphibians means organism that can breathe inside the water also and on the land also such organisms is called amphibian for example salamanders and the frogs these are the example of amphibians when they are inside the water body they breathe through the gills and when they are outside the water body they breathe through their through their body surface means these organism amphibians they breathe through gills in water bodies and on surface they breathe through their means on the land they or they breathe through the body surface okay and next is birds reptiles and the mammals birds reptiles and mammals these are the terrestrial organism that organism that lives on the land they breathe through the lungs how they especially if we are talking about the human being or so how we breathe we take air through the nose and air passes through the nose and through wind pipe it goes to the lungs so air goes through nose through wind pipe it goes to the lungs like this we breathe in and same way when we have to breathe out we release carbon dioxide carbon dioxide travel from lungs through wind pipe through nose it will come out this is the breathing in the terrestrial organism what happens when we breathe in oxygen that reaches to our lungs from there this oxygen is transported to different part of the body with the help of blood blood transport this oxygen to different part of the body and it also bring the co2 from different part of the body to the lungs like this blood help in exchange of gases means it help in utilizing uh, oxygen for releasing energy and it also help in removing co2 from the body carbon dioxide from the body so two topics we have discussed body covering we have discussed and we have discussed the breathing organ in different organisms okay so remaining topic we will see in the coming video okay thank you